Mercedes brought some major updates to the cars in recent races. The most important area we'll look at first is in the side pods. Now, at the moment, Mercedes have run a fairly conventional side pod with a relatively low opening and a relatively small undercut beneath, and then bodywork above the top. This is very typical of what most teams have been running until Ferrari introduced their high side pod concept with their car last year. What Mercedes are now trying to do is to try and grab some of the aero advantage that Ferrari have got with their side pod concept, but without having to change the crash structures inside, which constrain the height of the inlet. So what Mercedes have done is they've just reshaped the entire front end. The inlet sits in very much the same position, but is now flanked by these wide horizontal surfaces, which again mimic very much what teams like Ferrari, Red Bull, and Haas are doing with their side pods. And what this is aiming to do is just to compartmentalize the airflow so that you get more air pushed under the undercut of the side pod, which then goes round through the Coke bottle and drives more downforce over the diffuser. In doing this, they've actually opened up the side of the inlet slightly, and you can see between these two horizontal surfaces, it looks like the inlet's been moved backwards, but that's not quite the case. In changing this area, they've also changed the fin over the top of the side pod. And quite interestingly, bearing in mind some of the controversy over F1 mirrors over the recent races, they've changed their mirror mountings. Now, the mirror itself remains very similar to how it was before with um, a couple of mounts, but now there's a further mount outboard which goes down onto one of these new horizontal surfaces, which Mercedes will argue is for structural purposes, and that's the only reason you can have bodywork attaching to the mirrors, but no doubt, that fin in that area is aerodynamically important and is why they've added this part to the car. So changes here should greatly improve the performance of the car in terms of how much downforce is produced from the diffuser, not really about cooling or anything else around the rest of the aerodynamics of the car. So that's one key area. Now if we move to the back, we can see Mercedes unusually are actually copying some other teams in some of the solutions. Now, the rear wing end plate, uh, as we know, they're this dog leg shape since 2017, has been few slots but fairly straightforward but what they've done is they've taken this fairly straightforward end plate and followed what McLaren are doing with their end plate by creating these dropped fins with big slots in between them that help direct the airflow through the wing so you get more mass airflow through the wing makes the wing more effective at producing downforce and it also produces more outwash which again helps the rear wing work more efficiently so you either get more downforce or you can turn the wing down, run less drag. And obviously at some of the midsummer races that we've had, Austria, France, Silverstone, and going through to the end of the year, this could be one of the low drag solutions Mercedes races at a number of upcoming races. Mm -hmm.